Yeah, so if, if you're relying on uh, the CRM like sourcing, so I guess in that case, you think like the original source field and in, in, for example, in HubSpot, right? Then you, you're also putting it in the hands of, of a human. So if a BDR, for example, calls up a company and books a demo with them, and then they go in and they, they create an opportunity and they set the original source to be in an outbound call. But then you mm -hmm. might also find that that account was actually also had a, a, a webinar attendance a month ago. And so mm -hmm. here you have to like choose one. And that's always like a, uh, it's a big minus having to choose when in reality, maybe it was a combination of both. Mm -hmm. So there's the human error aspect of it. Then there's another thing of if, um, if everything you have in like your, in your ecosystem in your tech integration is HubSpot. So you have a HubSpot yeah. website, you have a HubSpot marketing automation for CRM, mm -hmm. then by all means go for it. Then it, then it works very nicely. Yeah. But as soon as you start like mixing and matching, which most often you will do in, because there's a lot of great tools, um, then suddenly you lose that like vanilla or native uh, integration set and, and yeah. you have to start importing data and there can be a lot of problems with that.